Welcome to Gun News in 5 Minutes or Less. This is brought to you by the Gun News and Reviews channel. Why are many in the gun community pissed off at Black Rifle Coffee Company? Yesterday I posted a review of a rifle and the focus of the comment section was less about the rifle and more about this shirt. The comments were centered around Black Rifle Coffee Company. Comments such as this, excited to watch the video, but the shirt hurt my eyes, or throw that shirt out. It got me to wondering, where's this all coming from? You would think that Black Rifle Coffee Company checks all the right boxes for firearms owners. It's founded by veterans. The CEO is a gentleman who is in the Green Berets. So far, so good, right? Well, the trouble started last summer when Kyle Rittenhouse, who was accused of shooting protesters at a BLM rally in Kenosha, Wisconsin, was seen wearing a Black Rifle Coffee Company shirt, and they wanted to distance themselves from that individual. Some campaign finance documentation was released that showed that key employees at the company also were donating to Democrats. Last month, in an interview with the New York Times, Hafer doubled down on throwing many in his base under the bus, describing them as racist and a repugnant group of people. He said, you can't let sections of your customers hijack your brand and say, this is who you are. It's like, no, no, we define that. It's like the worst of American society, and I got to flush the toilet of some of those people that kind of hijack portions of the brand went on to say that he would gladly pay these people to leave his customer base, but I have a feeling he won't need to do that. Now, I don't have time to read everything about everything, but I do feel kind of silly and uninformed for not knowing all of this about Black Rifle Coffee Company. Quite frankly, I was tempted to go back and take down the video that I shot wearing that t-shirt. I think there's actually been a couple of them. And I never wore it to make any kind of political statement, certainly. And I certainly also didn't make it to make a statement in support of the company. But I just thought it looked cool, and I do a lot of videos about black rifles. I'm not going to go back and edit the past, a la what we're doing in this country right now with Confederate statues and things like that, because we got woke. I think we pay too much attention to symbolism. But I do understand why a number of the folks watching and commenting don't like that shirt and what it stands for, and more specifically, what the ownership group of that company seems to stand for. So you won't see me wearing a point forward. This is why I read the comment section on these videos that I make, because I learn as much from my viewers as they do from me, probably a lot more so. For news updates and reviews, please subscribe to Gun News and Reviews.